You know me. You know what I like. You know my pleasures, my pains. And above all else, I know that you guys know that I love going on Zillow. Before I bought my house, I was on Zillow all the time. I checked Zillow so much. You guys know this. I've talked about this in other videos. I've done other videos about Zillow. The other day, Justin brought to my attention a website called Zillow Gone Wild. I don't know anything about it so far other than what I'm seeing here, but what it looks like is crazy houses that you can click on and it'll bring you to the Zillow listing. So let's get ready to look at some of the craziest houses on Zillow. I'm immediately drawn to this guy right here. Right off the top, this is in New York. One one bed, one, one bath for uh, $550,000. It looks like it's just a bunker. It's literally, it's literally just a, what? Wait, this is one bedroom? What do you mean? What? They haven't even finished building it though. What the fuck is this? Yeah, this is just literally a survival bunker. I bet you can't just buy it for 550 because I feel like there's all these permits that you probably have to get. That's wild. A blast from the past and built to last. This 6.19 acre decommissioned Atlas F missile complex once housed America's first breed of ICBMs. The missile was stored vertically underground in a super hardened silo designed to withstand a nuclear attack. And today it could be yours for a fraction of the original cost. Unlimited possibilities are are there though? I don't know what I would do with that space. All right, starting off strong. Let's go to this guy. What is this all about? This is in Oklahoma, in Tulsa. I've been to Tulsa. Investor's dream, truly one of a kind. 2005, custom built, starting with a personal elevator ride to the top floor and an investment property. First thing your guests will see is the breathtaking view of the Tulsa skyline, or make this your own personal hideaway. Why would you? Why would you want? Why would you want this? This literally looks like a shitty small version of the Space Needle in Seattle. I don't know how many of you have been up there. This is so odd. Why would anyone build this? This is one of those like shitty- and it's not even like good looking. Look at this! It's one of those weird things too where it's like this is an investment property. So people are just wanting to build this so then they can like Airbnb it or like sell it to someone for it's like this is a weird house. This here. This looks very unassuming. It is in Pennsylvania, three bedrooms, two bath. This looks like a very nice house. This looks like a normal, a normal home. What's gonna be weird about it? What's gonna be, oh, I hate that carpeting. Three beds, two baths. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure why they just had that in the, in the Zillow posting. You have a weird, weird basement. What the f <laughs> this is just walking down here and then you'd sit on the toilet and then you can proceed down the hell is that? Okay, you have like a full-ass workshop. It's a little odd. Nothing oh, Like crazy crazy. Let's check out this one because this also looks very unassuming normal looking house Normal looking house. Hello. Ooh ominous inside This is this is weird. I mean, it's not like Super super weird, but it's odd odd choices were made whenever this was built. It's just a little unsettling this house Is the same house as this <laughs> like there's no Consistency at all. Whoa big painting big weird. What the fuck is going? I feel like huh, Why is there a big bell? What is is this the garage? Why do you have a rock coming? What are you doing? Why did you build? What is that for? Why did you build a giant rock fort? Okay, let's see. This is in Illinois. Another, uh, another bunker, I assume. Yep. At the very least, though, this one looks sort of like a normal house. At least on the inside. But at least it's not a literal missile silo. This is Dayton, Ohio. Got a real... Whoa. Okay, a lot of, lot of purple, lot of, a lot of purple. Okay, and then a, a big flip. What is going on in this house? I mean, it's adventurous. It's interesting for sure. I want that. Damn. What is going on? 
What is going on? Hold on. Why do they have two fridges? This is a house. Hold on. <gasps> we can do the 3D home tour. Guys, you know I love a 3D tour. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Ugh. Oh, this is so ugly. Oh my god, this is so ugly. Why would... Is that a fish tank? It is. What? God. What is... Fucking weird okay so then there's a projector why would you have it that is so stupid it's gonna like get cut off because of this thing what are you doing then this pool is nuts this just looks like a stack is this supposed to be a waterfall or is it just a stack of rocks okay this is the primary bedroom really odd just really odd. This is such a big bedroom, I think. It's kind of hard to tell how big it actually is because of, like, the camera obviously is making things look bigger. What a weird, weird place. Where are we? Okay, this is downstairs. It's like, like, it's not even good looking at all. Obviously, you'd have furniture in here. Okay, I'm uh, that, like, exhausted me. This looks cool. This is in Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is one of the most like vapid things I've ever seen. Oh my god, that's gross. What is going on? This looks cool. Just the crazy amount of animal print. There, I'm so overwhelmed. There's, there's too much. <sighs> ah. Wait, but this looks cool from the outside. Two bed, two bath. Huh. Oh, only two bed, two bath though? It looks a lot bigger. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. I, I like dark colors, but this seems a bit, uh, too dark. Like, I feel like you could just make the space a little bit less depressing if you used, um, any other color other than complete black. I wouldn't buy it, but it's kind of cool. Wait. It's in Kenny Bunkport? That's where my gymnastics gym used to be, is in Kenny Bunkport. I would go to Kenny Bunkport all the time. This is in Maine. What the hell? This is like kind of cool. But it's really. Who did this in Kenny Bunkport? I like how much light is let in. Like, I wouldn't want to live here, but, like, I'd live here over the last place that was all black walls. It's a cool little little hut. Like, it's very big, but the way that it's, like, spherical and stuff, it's very, uh... Crafts craftsman is the, <laughs> the word that I'm looking for. Okay, hold on. What the fuck is this? This is all we get. <laughs> what? This is a house? What the hell is this? It doesn't have a price on it, and it doesn't have any... Okay. It doesn't have any photos. That looks eerie as hell. Whoa. They have a house that's a boat? But it's not a boat house, but it's a boat house. Once again, though, why? Like, why are places like this made? I mean, it's different. It is different. I'll give you that. And, like, it doesn't look... Horrible. I mean, the outside, like, I don't like it. But, uh, sure, I guess. See, there's a lot of houses on here that are, like, really cr- This is a trampoline in a bedroom. Oh, you can't tease me like that. What I was saying was there's a lot of houses that look really crazy. But we've seen crazy houses before, you know? I want to see the weird ones. You know, why is this on here? Where is this? This is in Vermont. Okay. Looks like- Looks like a normal house. It's very pretty. I like it a lot, actually. It's very pretty. A farmhouse style. What's going on with the window? Why wouldn't you just make a rectangular window or a smaller square window? Why would you do- Or why don't you just take that, just rotate it, and put it more in the- What are you doing? Why is that like that? What? What? They're the creepy basement for- Hey, remember what I said before about the window? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Your house, your house is beautiful. It's got so much 
history. 150K. Somebody got that for 150K. Here's the thing about this is I feel as though maybe we should do a little bit of investigating. And by we, I mean like people who's like the authorities. 1878. Okay, that actually sort of checks out. Okay, this is in New York. Looks, huh? okay. Big golf, big golfing, um, big golfing family. So I know that like it's your home and like, you know, you should do what you want with your home. You know, there's things that I did to my house and things that I added that I'm sure not everybody cares about. Like I, I put a, a home theater in my, in my house. You know, if I ever sell this house, not everybody's gonna want that. But that's the kind of thing that I feel like is easily a fix and something that's not super intrusive. Having an entire golf course in your yard, one, a pretty, kind of a niche thing. Two, I'd like to ask how. These houses are pretty close. And also, wouldn't you be hitting balls towards your I just don't really understand how this happened and how your neighbors haven't uh, you know, maybe that's why you have to move. This just looks like the White House. Uh, oh! oh, oh, oh this is awful. <laughs> this is so awful. Oh my god. Is this, uh, is this table just bolted to the floor? It just lacks so much, like, taste. Like, so, is this the basement? It's so much room for a normal person. What do you do with that? What do you do with that space? For me, I don't have a normal job. I make videos and stuff like that. This would be a cool place to set up like a bunch of lights or set up like sort of like a mini sound stage and stuff like that. You know, I could make different sets for different things. But like, that's what I would use that for. You could fit like 40 pool tables in here. Like, what are you gonna use all this for? Okay, this house is just an actual castle. I went for 1.5 million by a literal it's a little it's a legitimate castle that library is so cool this is also cool bonus room that it's that's a little creepy actually mirrored hallway why do you want that <laughs> i mean i guess if you're living in a literal castle you can kind of get away with like hey why do you have a mirrored hallway why do we live in a castle i would be afraid to buy that house because i feel like it might be Haunted. All right, I'm gonna do one more house. Let's see what really calls thy name. I mean, this is $60 million. Where's that Connecticut? You know, when I think about it, like this house obviously isn't that old as far as the inside of it. Like it's it's got modern appliances. This house is selling for 60 million. I feel like the quality of the work would maybe not be great. This has not been sold. Built in 2010. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So somebody bought the land in 2003 for $167,000. And then in 2010, they built this place. The plans were going for seven years and the building probably took about that long. Seven years, give or take, to make this giant castle thing. And then they had a few years in it. So they probably were just making it to sell it. They listed it for sale in 2014. And as far as this goes, since 2014, it has not sold. That's rough. But I mean, like, can you blame, like who? If we're being rational. Somebody builds this for themselves, yeah? I feel like this kind of place is really hard, especially when it's $60 million. So very few people are gonna buy it, are gonna be able to buy it anyway. But then there's even fewer people who are like, yeah, I wanna live in a fucking crazy ass castle. Oh boy, all right. Well, if you want to check this out for yourself, I will leave the link down below. Shout out to Justin for uh, for finding this. But yeah, just a bunch of crazy places on Zillow. Let me know what you thought was the craziest. I, honestly, for me, the one that really jumped out at me was the one with the uh, prison in it. Hold on, this is a normal looking house that has dinosaurs in the front of it. Sure. Sure, oh yeah, it's very. Eclectic. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If it did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye.